In this video, we're going to focus on probability word problems. A jar contains seven red marbles, six green marbles, five blue marbles, and two yellow marbles. What is the probability of selecting a green marble? Well, let's make a list of the different colors that we have. So we have red, we have green, blue, and we have yellow. So there are seven red marbles, six green marbles, five blue marbles, and two yellow marbles. Now let's add up these numbers. Seven plus six is 13. 13 plus five is 18. 18 plus two is 20. So there's a total of 20 marbles in the jar. Now, if you want to calculate the probability of getting, let's say, a green marble, what you need to do is find the number of green marbles in the jar. There's six green marbles and divided by the total number of marbles, which is 20. So the probability is six out of 20. But of course, we can reduce the fraction. Since both numbers are even, we can divide them by two. Half of six is three, half of 20 is 10. Three over 10 is basically 0.3 as a decimal, which is equal to 30%. So there's a 30% chance of selecting a green marble from this jar. Now what about the blue marble? What is the probability of selecting the blue marble? So how many blue marbles are in the jar? Notice that we have 5 in the jar out of 20. So the probability is 5 over 20. So now let's reduce the fraction by dividing each number by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 1 over 4, if you type it in the calculator, is 0.25 as a decimal, which correlates to 25%. So there's a 25% chance of selecting a blue marble. Now, if there's a 25% chance of selecting a, a blue marble, what is the probability of not selecting a blue marble? To find the probability of not selecting a blue marble, it's going to be 1 minus the probability of selecting a blue marble. And is a, the probability of selecting a blue marble is 0.25. 1 minus 0.25 is equal to 0.75, which is 75%. So if there's a 25% chance of selecting a blue marble, then there's a 75% chance of not selecting a blue marble. If there's a 30% chance of selecting a green marble, then there's a 70% chance of not selecting a green marble. Let's clear away a few things. Now let's talk about another way in which we can calculate the probability of not selecting a green marble. The other technique involves finding how many marbles are not green. So we have 7, 5, and 2. So that's 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So there are 14 marbles that are not green out of a total of 20. And so let's go ahead and reduce this fraction. So let's divide both numbers by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And so we get 7 out of 10, which is 0.7. And 0.7, if you multiply by 100, this will give you 70%. So as you can see, there's a 70% chance of not selecting a green marble. Now let's get rid of this. Now let's move on to the next part, part C. What is the probability of selecting a green or a yellow marble? How can we figure this out? If you see an or statement, it's associated with the sum. The probability of selecting a green or yellow marble 
is equal to the probability of selecting a green marble plus the probability of selecting a yellow marble. So we just got to add these two values and it's going to give us the answer. So there are six green marbles out of a total of 20. And to find the probability of selecting a yellow marble, we can see that there are two yellow marbles in the jar of 20 marbles. So it's 2 over 20. Now since the denominators are the same in these two fractions, we can go ahead and add them. 6 plus 2 is 8, so it's 8 over 20. Now 8 and 20 are divisible by 4. So let's reduce the fraction. So this is going to be 2 over 5. If you type 2 divided by 5 in your calculator, or if you use long division, you can convert this fraction into a decimal. And so it's going to be 0 0.4, which is 40%. Uh, so there's a 40% chance of getting a green or a yellow marble. Now what about the next part? What is the probability of getting a red marble and then a blue marble with replacement? So this is basically an and statement. We need to get red and blue. On the first try, we need to get red. And on the second try, we need to get blue. So the order matters here. So what is the probability of getting a red marble on the first try? By the way, whenever you have an and statement, you need to multiply. If there's an or, you need to add. So just keep that in mind. So we need to multiply the probability of getting a red marble times the probability of getting a blue marble. So what is the probability of getting a red marble on the first try? So there's seven red marbles out of a total of 20. So it's 7 over 20. Now, what is the probability of selecting a blue marble with replacement? With replacement means that once you take out the red marble in the first try, you put it back in. And then you want to see, you know, the chances of getting a blue marble on the second try. So once you put the red marble back in, there's still a total of 20 blue marbles. And there's five, I mean, there's a total of 20 marbles in general. And out of those 20 marbles, we have five blue marbles. I think I said 20 blue marbles, but there's only five. So once you put the red marble back in, you still have 20 marbles in the jar. Now, instead of multiplying across, let's uh, cancel first. We can reduce 5 over 20. We can divide each number by 5. So we can cancel a 5 from the top and the bottom. So this is going to be 1 over 4. 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 20 is 80. So the answer is 7 over 80. And as a decimal, this is equal to 0 0.0875, which is 8.75%. Now, if you're wondering what just happened, I accidentally closed the application. And so I'm just going to rewrite this information. But let's work on the next part. What is the probability of selecting a red marble and then a blue marble, but this time without replacement? So what do you think we have to do here? Feel free to pause the video and work on that example. So we're still dealing with multiplication. There's two events. We need to get a red marble and a blue marble. And any time you're dealing with an and statement in regards to probability, you need to multiply the two events together. That is, you need to multiply the probability of getting those two events. So we need to get a red marble on the first try and then a blue marble on the second try. So the probability of getting a red marble on the first try is still 7 over 20. So that part hasn't changed. Now, what about the probability of getting a blue marble, but without replacement? 
Without replacement means that after you take out the first red marble on the first try, you don't put it back in. It stays outside of the jar, which means that we no longer have 20 marbles in the jar. We now have 19. So therefore, the probability of selecting a blue marble is 5 out of 19. Since there's 5 blue marbles in a jar that contains only 19 marbles left over. And so this is going to give us the answer. 20 is basically 5 times 4. And notice that we can cancel a 5, which will make the math a lot easier. So now on top, it's just going to be a 7. On the bottom, 4 times 19. 4 times 19 is 76. 7 divided by 76 is 0 0.092. So there's a 9.2% chance of getting a red marble on the first try and then a blue marble on the second try without replacement. Now what about the last one? What is the probability of selecting a red marble and a blue marble without replacement? So how is part F different than part E? Go ahead, pause the video, and think about this problem. See if you can get the answer. Try to work it out, and then when you're ready, unpause the video and see what the solution is. So what's the difference between then and and? Now, in part E, on the first try, you want to get a red marble. And on the second try, you want to get a blue marble in that order. But in part F, the order is not specified. So that means that you can get a red marble in the first try and then a blue marble in the second try. Or, remember, or means plus or sum, you can get a blue marble on the first try and then a red marble on the second try. In part F, because the order is not specified, it can be RB or BR. So the probability of getting red on the first try and then blue on the second try, we got that answer in the last problem. It's 7 over 20 for the red marbles and then for the blue marbles it's 5 over 19. This is without replacement. So don't forget to deduct this number by 1. Now, for BR, the probability of getting a blue marble on the first try, there's 5 blue marbles out of a total of 20. And since it's without replacement, once we take out the blue marble, there's 19 left. And the probability of selecting a red marble is going to be 7 out of the remaining 19. So notice that these two answers are the same. In both cases, we're going to get the same answer of 7 over 76. That's the probability of getting red, then blue. And the probability of getting blue, then red is also 7 out of 76. So you have to double the answer. So it's 14 out of 76. And we can reduce this fraction. We can divide the top and the bottom by 2. So this is going to turn into 7 over 38. 738. I mean 7 over 38, that's a 0.184 as a decimal. So there's an 18.4% chance of getting a red and a blue marble without replacement. The probability of not getting a red and a blue marble without replacement is 100 minus 18.4. And that's 81.6% chance of not getting a red and blue. So now let's review a few important details. That's going to help you when solving probability problems. So anytime you see the word or, associate it with addition or sum. Whenever you see the word and, associate it with multiplication. So just keep that in mind. So here's a question for you. 
what is the probability of selecting a red marble, then a green marble, not and, so you want to get a red marble first and then a green marble on a second try, or getting a blue marble and then a yellow marble on a second try. So go ahead and try to figure this out. So the probability of getting red and green, we need to multiply it. So it's going to be P of R, that's the probability of selecting a red marble, and the probability of selecting a green marble, so we're going to multiply it by PG. And then we have an OR statement, so that's going to be addition. The probability of getting a blue marble, that's PB. And the probability of getting a yellow marble, we'll call it a PY. So we're going to have to multiply it by PY. The probability of getting a red marble is 7 over 20. And let's say it's with replacement. I forgot to specify that. So with replacement, the denominator will remain 20. So there's 6 green marbles out of a total of 20. And then plus, the probability of getting a blue marble is 5 over 20. And of getting a yellow marble, it's 2 over 20. Now let's reduce the fractions that we have. We can add them right now if we want to. So you can reduce it now or you can add. 6 times 7 is uh, 42. Let's add them first. 20 times 20 is 400. 5 times 2 is 10. So this is going to be 10 out of 400. 42 plus 10 is 52. So it's 52 out of 400. Now we can divide both numbers by 4. 52 divided by 4 is 13. 400 divided by 4 is uh, 100. And 13 over 100, it's easy to see what the decimal value of that is. That's 0 0.13, which is 13%. Um, and so that's the answer. That's the probability of getting a red marble on the first try, then a green marble on the second try, or getting a blue marble on the first try, and then a yellow marble on the second try. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it's been helpful for you um, in dealing with probability problems. So thanks for watching and have a great day.